Everybody, thanks for checking us out. We're live right now on Hackensack Meridian Hell Stage 17, high atop Madison Square Garden, where tomorrow night, the 60th annual Grammy Awards happen. And on this stage, performers nominated in two different categories. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special Grammy edition, Up Close and Country with Midland. If you couldn't tell, we have a live studio audience here. We're very excited. I'm Jesse Addy from Nash FM 94.7. Give a big welcome as well. You listen to her every day at work. Ladies and gentlemen, Katie Neal. I don't, never, I don't Hi, think I've ever had an introduction like that. It was very exciting. Welcome, everyone. How's everybody doing? Good? Yeah. So a really exciting thing about today, you can take all the pictures, all the videos that you want, just make sure you use the hashtag HMHStage17. And if you are watching at home and you want to share it, please also use that hashtag HMHStage17. This is going to be a big moment. I know we're excited and I'm glad you're watching as well. How's it going, guys? Mighty fun, mighty Feeling fun. Feeling good? Are you nervous about tomorrow? No. No? Not at all? No. Well, that's good to know. So I think the first time I met you guys was like just... Like last spring, not even a year ago, drinking problem was just starting to take off. And you guys have been working at this a long time. But does it feel like you got everything took forever and then it all happened at once? Like <laughs> now you got two Grammy nominations? Yeah, the <clears throat> 10 year overnight success is what they call it. <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of plugging away. Um, and last year itself was kind of remarkable in the amount of work that we put into it with our, our friends, our team, the people that kind of make this all possible for us. So it's been a grind, but um, when you get nominated for a, a Grammy, it kind of it, it validates all that hard work and being away from the family and, you know, putting on the miles on the old face, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, really but done. we hear we can, uh, we can buy new faces if we get really <laughs> successful. So If you win that Grammy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys also are the only uh, uh, group that's also nominated in Song of the Year category as songwriters. That's got to uh, be a proud moment to, yeah. for that as yeah, well. Yeah, I think <coughs> I think almost that's uh, the most important thing for us. Um, you know, we, we look at music as kind of the holy trinity. It's, it's the songwriting, you know, the producing and recording, and then doing it live, uh, playing it out live. And, uh, you know, for us, we take great pride in... Uh, and, and be able to do all three of those things. And for us, it's the only way that we would do it. So to get um, validated and, and recognized by your community and by you know a lot of our heroes in certain cases, um, yeah, it's, it's just really surreal. But um, it's pretty cool. I think we were, uh, weren't thinking about it too much, but now we're here in the city and you start feeling the energy. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. We're having a, all of our friends and family, are, our phones are starting to blow up and everybody's sending us good wishes. And uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. It, I don't know, is it considered bad luck if you like kind of have a speech ready just so that you're not completely caught off guard? No, or are you guys just winging it? You should definitely it? have a speech ready. Although somebody did ask us to cut a, uh, <laughs> a recording saying uh, that we won <laughs> a Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> and we, uh, we actually opted Pl to, to Pl not do that at a yeah. super You don't want to jinx it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to jinx it. Mark Speaking wrote of his Grammy speech like three years ago. So. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I got it right here. Yeah. I was uh, I was the best man at my twin brother's wedding, and um, I was at the use that. I was at the rehearsal <laughs> dinner, and my sister goes, uh, Do you, "Are you is your speech ready?" I go, "You mean for tomorrow?" She goes, "No, you're supposed to give a speech tonight too." <laughs> I just winged it, and then I ended up uh, winging his uh, you know the actual the wedding night too. So I'm just gonna shoot from the heart. Mark uh, wings it from in life. Yeah. <laughs> So. Call it's it's kind of working out. Wings <laughs> Wings Wise Track. That's my nickname. <laughs> Speaking of jinxing jinxing it, do you guys do you know where you're sitting, and do you want to know where you're sitting tomorrow? Uh, well, close to the bar. Actually, we're not allowed to sit, and we have to <laughs> usher people in. So we're kind of working the event as well as being there. Um, they're calling us ushers. I don't, I'm not sure <laughs> if they're going to pay us or not. But, uh, Is that confusing know. for usher the artist? When he goes to <laughs> events? I have not had the chance to ask him that. We're running, so we may know. see him tomorrow, so we'll ask him. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, um, uh, Vogue magazine has said your style uh, is so, I don't know if they use the word awesome, but the style you have could really convert people into loving country music. Hmm. 
And that's coming from Vogue magazine, so they kind of know what they're talking about. But I mean, the fashion part of it. How, how Vogue much? magazine, the place you go for music. <laughs> 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 but that's got to feel nice, right? And not yeah. that that's the focus of it. But no, I think I think the thing that's uh, it's just it's our own thing, you know. And I think that's what Vogue's recognizing. And then, you know, when it comes to when it comes to the music, um, God, I mean, our manager Matt Graham, he was the first one to hear the demos, and and Matt said, you know, Matt's from Long Island. He goes, I don't know. I don't know, Jack expletive about <laughs> country music. And I, I really dig this. I really get it. And um, I think we're getting a lot of people that aren't necessarily country music, your hardcore country music fans, and, and they're relating to it. And they're able to pick up on something. And, and I think that's because, you know, as, as far as songwriters and uh, as the performers go in the recordings and, and live, you know, Kim, Jess, and I are, are pouring our heart and soul into this. And, you know, it's coming from... Uh, it's coming from an authentic place. And I Plus, think we wear cool jackets, and that's why I both Very cool jackets. <laughs> Speaking of cool jackets, can I ask you who Dave is? You have a Dave jacket Dave's on? Dave's no longer you? with us. Don't D ask Dave's not Dave. here, man. <laughs> the long-lost fourth <laughs> member of Midland. Yeah, Dave's not Dave here. Dave had a skiing accident. <laughs> yeah. Skiing's the easy part. So Dave thought. Uh, no, this is, uh, this, this is actually funny. This jacket... Um, can, uh, Jess, didn't you play a Mo Bandy song the, the very first time we? Yeah, uh, that might have been actually the first song that. Uh, it was. It was. We were kind of trading songs up in Jackson Hole at Cameron's wedding. So. And Mo I think, Bandy jacket. I think I played Bandy the Rodeo Clown. Yeah. So, so it's just uh, Mo Bandy was a, a famous uh, country musician. So that's our good luck charm. That jacket now. Yeah. Same and it's time. gold. Yeah. Kind of. Well, it's champagne. Champagne. <laughs> Get it right, Cam. Yeah, yeah. You're in vogue I'm now. I'm colorblind, by the way. <laughs> From so, skiing. Thanks yeah. for bringing it Even up. Even more so now. <laughs> yeah. Once, once again, skiing is not the easy part. <laughs> you guys talked about it. You mentioned you know, a 10-year overnight success in the grind, but to finally have a song hit radio, go number one, to get nominated, and, uh, and now to play it at different places and have an entire audience sing along. It's got to feel great. Thank you so much for watching another Up Close and Country Grammy edition from Hackensack Meridian Health Stage 17. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. Yeah.